spotless, bottomless, tasteless place across the street from your house. And those of you who have it, speak out, speak up. Say we don't want it. Move somewhere else. Secondly, they are, uh, they are infringing on our sacred place and space. A church operates not just on Sunday, as is true of a, a temple, as is true of a mosque. We operate inside and outside practically every single day of the year. Thirdly, our community is saying in agreement, hey, yeah, you're right, you have a legal stand, but listen, please respect us, don't offend us, and that's exactly what they did. What, what do you think of Joy here? Is I don't know Joy. If she perpetuating, what, I, I feel so, I don't you? know Joy, but I, I would say this, and this is a very generic statement because I don't know her background or history, but I feel sorry for someone who thinks of themselves as a thing meant to entertain men. Well, let me tell you, I used to sell real estate, okay? The real estate market went down. I have an 11 year old daughter that I have to take care of. How, That's how a career do you expect change, me to take care of my 11 year old daughter? I, Joy, I like this career Do you want me to go on welfare? I think, she's, I think Sarah, Joy's making, a, me to go on welfare Joy's making a very good point here. She has an 11 year old daughter. Okay? How am I supposed to this support isn't her? just some floozy off the street. This is a professional woman who has choreography. A professional you choreographer can't to help with dance. Stripping to support a child. There are other ways you can go out and find a job to but support children. But this is children. what I choose to do. You don't have to take away your clothes and justify it to support a child. But I all, choose to do the that. children, oh. the children are the ones that are being affected too. Because the if, if, if the, the possibility exists that underage children are being in that bar. They're not in the no, possibility. You, know, you can't, you can't, you, are, you're, you're you right. can't you, say. You are correct. You have chosen this, but That's every right. single human being has consequences to their choices. Just because you made that decision, which I respect, you don't have the right to impose it on me. Well, if you decided to do this, do it. But not in okay, front of me. Out. Not in front of my house. You see, Maury. Right on. The, the difference on. is... Speak out. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, and that's beautiful. I don't. I don't want you to make light of this. You're here. You're. You. This is very I'm serious to you. Oh, okay. I'm very emotional okay. about this. Obviously, okay. we're fairly sober about this. The, the bottom line is. The bottom line is is that today the Catholic Church across the street has said we find nudity in the confines of a closed building to be offensive. I have heard the Catholic Church speak out against homosexuals and they find that activity offensive. I remember a case I learned in law school about the Nazi party who decided to march in Skokie, Illinois. You're not and people... making a comparison between their, their fight against this club and, and, and Nazis in Skokie, Illinois. What I'm, what I'm bringing to your attention is, and to everyone's attention, is simply because the use is offensive to the majority doesn't mean you simply suppress the rights of the minority. This is America. Before we break, before we break, Joy, I want to know, we can take this uh, uh, through the commercial and let people think about it during the commercial. What does your dance consist of? What's my dance consist yeah. of? No clothes? I, no, I start with clothes. Yeah, then what? It's yeah. choreographed. I slowly take my clothes off. Right. Uh, it's about a 20 minute set. Full frontal nudity. Full nudity. Everything. Everything. You enjoy that? Yes, I do enjoy it. Okay. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right. The uh, nice town of uh, Norwalk, Connecticut, bedroom community to New York City fine community in fact I've been there several times the zebra club and its new dancers versus the church across the street and the neighboring businesses Joyce Abate uh, operates a daycare center across the street from the zebra club Tim Devine is a st. Philip's parishioner uh, what are your what are your concerns Joyce I have a problem with the location of the zebra club I have a problem with um, the what it represents because we house very up, up in the building very close to you we house um, a wonderful place for 82 children a week from the ages of infancy up through age seven um, I have a problem with that it just doesn't correlate the location is just a little bit too close you know what I'm what not getting though I, I've, I've, I've had these discussions before mm -hmm. I've seen the controversy before in other places 
around New York and in other cities as well, mm -hmm. when uh, a nude dancing place <laughs> opens next to uh, businesses or homes or residential areas, they don't like it, whether it be schools or whatever. Nobody's mentioning the clientele here today. You don't oppose the clientele? Is the clientele all right? Oh, we definitely do. <laughs> Let's face it, the people that go into this place, yeah. young men, whatever you want to call them, they're well, young there. men and whatever. What does yeah, that mean? Yeah, I mean, men. I'm leaving that up to everybody well, else. What does that okay? mean? What does that mean? What are you saying? Uh, I, to well, me, you know, I, I don't think much of them. They're going there for one reason, to get some kind of excitement, to get aroused. What? They can't drink there. Uh, they're not going there to get no, drunk. That's, that's fine. Okay. They go for entertainment. Oh, that's what not kind of entertainment. Of entertainment. Not that is entertainment. Are you going to tell me this is not entertainment? Maybe not entertainment, not entertainment to you, but it is entertainment. Are you going to tell me this is not art? entertainment that will bring any kind of dignity There's or, doctors or, or there's any doctors. kind of dignity or prestige to the city of Norwalk? Yeah. You know what will bring prestige and dignity? That the, my children were part of a children's theater group that were performed on Ellis Island last summer. They were invited because they performed over there. That brings dignity and prestige, not strip joints. Yes. That's what we have to push. What about TV? Let, let her be. Okay, yes. First of all, I have a comment about Joy. Yeah. This is the United States of America. It is a free country. Nobody is going to support her daughter but her. And second of all... And second of all, I'm not down in the church or anything, but it's better things to think about than that because you do have priests who are molesting kids. And she could be... Wait a second. Wait a minute, though. Wait. I mean... But I'm saying there's more things to think about that, than that. You understand? She could be, she could be selling drugs. In other words, there are bigger issues to the church. She could be robbed and she could be doing anything there, there are bigger to issues to the church then what kind of place, what establishment is across exactly. the street? Excuse you know, me, but they're not going to move Wait a second. Now, now let Father Boccaccio answer that. You are right, there are general issues that we have to deal with, but we are dealing with a particular local situation that is face to face to us. She needs to raise her daughter. I agree with Pat, there are a lot more options, I think. I'm sure she's a very talented professional person and she might be able to find other occupation. Secondly, this is a very down-home issue. I, I don't disregard what you're saying. I'm not into that right now because it doesn't particularly involve me as such. I would be concerned about it if I could help with some of those other issues. All right, Father, let Mitch... Uh... You know, we're, we're talking here about the content of what's going on inside this club and, and we've, what it represents. Turn on your TV tonight between 8 and 11 o'clock. Watch the commercials. Don't even get to home box or cable. Watch the commercials. See what they're selling you. They're not nude. Okay. Watch your soap operas. See what they're, they're not selling nude you. Either. What we're doing is artistic expression. Every dance is choreographed. We can uh, turn off TVs. Yes. We uh, can turn you off. I don't know. To entice, I don't know. I don't know. To entice to go you out know, and we plant, can, excuse plant me. thoughts. We can, we can exaggerate words, okay? We can exaggerate words. I mean, for example, in my opinion, entertainment is an exaggeration of what she does. The word art is used to describe a crucifix in a container filled with urine. Thank God that it was brought to objection. I would hope that no menorah, I would hope that no Koran, I would hope that no religious symbol ever has to be treated like that. You see, in my opinion, back to your question, I think this is an example of something that's happening in our country, namely Catholic bashing. You think I think this oh, is an example well, that's a different of that. Thing. You think, whoa, that's very interesting. That's different. This is just not the question of, hey, this is a religious institution here. You're saying this is a Catholic institution. So well, what you're saying that's, what we have, that's my identity. Right, but, but and I And other houses of worship are in agreement with us. They don't want the I same thing either. I, I don't, maybe I'm not sensitive. I don't find myself looking upon this as Catholic bashing. Maybe it's because I'm I an do, outsider. I do, and we differ. And, may, and, and, and but it, wouldn't you make the same objections if it was a, uh, if it was a, a, a temple of Islam? Of course, course I would join. That's what yes. I just said. Other houses of worship have joined us, right. and I would join them in their need. But they didn't. They didn't in Stamford, where there's a nude club next door to a church. I haven't seen this church down there. They haven't addressed the crack problem in Norwalk. Oh, yes. This is all they're addressing is because we're in front of them. I am Catholic, and I don't have a problem with what she does or what your job is, but I have a problem with the location. Right. When you that's, say that's right. that you check IDs, I can't believe that you can't let these underage people in. Okay. They're, they're not, let, and they're checked and double checked. When I was younger and I was in college, we used to go with fake IDs. Oh, that, that's and we got in a very little club.
Maury, Maury, this is for Mr. Lieberman and Joy. Uh, I'm not Catholic, and I'm a resident of Norwalk. Norwalk does not want you. It's not about wait the a Catholic minute. It's not. It's not only, the, but, but there are other places in Norwalk. This is not the only right, one. Right, right. Well, Norwalk will be changing things. Oh, in other uh, words, it's just hopefully. not this place. No, we don't there, want any How many other places are there? We don't want Two other places? In the state of Connecticut, there's over 70 topics. There's three in Norwalk. There's three in Norwalk. There's three others in Norwalk. And, and, and we're, and we're talking about Catholic bashing. I'm not Catholic, but it seems like somebody wants to make it Catholic bashing and I wonder where it's coming from. So do I because the first time I heard this term Catholic bashing was from the father. Nobody else has brought this to our attention. Quite frankly, my clients are four devout Catholics. Oh, oh, oh folks, no folks, devout Catholic please. would own a strip <laughs> joint. Let me tell you this. Hey, oh my God. I called his pastor. I called the man he told me he was his pastor and I said, do you know Mr. Seraldo? And he's unfortunately not here. He was supposed to be here today plus another dancer. And he said, who? And they said, I know a Joseph Seraldo. And I said, no, Alfred. We think that's his first name. He said, no, I've only been here two years. I may know him by face, but we have no recorded record of well, him being here. What's the here. point? The point is, I don't think he's so devout. Okay. A nun and an 11-year-old parishioner want to add their voices of concern. We'll have that when we come back. <laughs> Wondering if the strippers are protected or is what contact is allowed between the clientele and the strippers? Oh, we haven't no talked about that. At all. No contact. Yeah, but how are we to make sure? How are we? How we how you, there's bouncers all over the place. Bouncers, yes. but there's there, nobody there are, who's going to protect. There are people protect, watching. Nobody, nobody is going to protect you. the uh, the you whole You don't question. get close enough. Yeah, but there's uh, but the community standards are we protected there. Can I get in on some of this? I just want to. Well, I, I see no. you're not objecting. You you don't you don't object. Do, do you say that? Does touching go on? Does anybody walk down there? We don't know whether they do. You according, haven't been in there, According have you? to the law, they're not supposed to. Uh, no, I volunteered to go in. But, uh, <laughs> you say, and and you know people who have been I, in there? Yes, yes. And I they do. say what? There's no uh, contact? I have gotten mixed reports on it as okay. far as whether there have been uh, young teenagers in there. Right. A person called me up last week and said, you know, my son went in there and he's in high school and he said a lot of his friends were in there okay okay the thing that bothers me on this whole thing is if you go back to uh the serial killer ted uh bundy, bundy. i think his name was who gave uh Andy you're going to say that that because he admitted right before he died right, that right. pornographic material got him involved in this, all of yeah. these okay. terrible crimes that he i committed. mean that's hey but that was him testifying. That's that was his response. You know, That's about the most outrageous hey. thing I've heard in the last eight weeks. Well, hey, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, not the outrageous. You're not the outrageous. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? You know, if the city... We talked about Nazism. I want to say this, first of all. We are really not looking at the full picture. Nazism killed as many, if not more, non-Jews, so we don't like it either. Uh, yeah. And there are other Holocausts in world history. We don't like it. We're talking about a it club in Norwalk, Just, Connecticut. That's one, what we're talking he's about. He's the one who's trying to mislead you. Yes. Thank you, Maury. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a religious, spiritual man. I'm in church four or five days a week. And, and I listen to the God of my understanding. He tells me not to judge my brothers. He tells me, he tells me not to be afraid. This woman telling the dancer she shouldn't be doing this. This man saying, oh, they're, they don't even drink in there. I never Is that said an inference? She shouldn't be Excuse doing me, no. it. I and said I, there and are I was other taught ways not to, make to a interrupt. Living. You have interrupted. <laughs> You interrupt every, why? And this is the very point here. I am not afraid to hear somebody else. I may not like topless dancing. I may not like this man's obesity. I may think that's wrong. When he said, oh, they don't even drink in there. I well, may find that personally. Uh, well, but, but I can say, I will listen to you. Okay, okay. I, will, I don't they, think he's obese, okay? No, <laughs> but but the point is, I am not afraid. Okay. This stuff is not going to go I away understand. by suppressing well, it. Okay. We need to know that judging? this... Another interrupter. Really? We need <laughs> to know that it's there. We can't cut off our body parts oh, and boy. make them go away. Doesn't he look Where like he works for IBM from? or something? <laughs> I want to go over here because Maury, there's another point to be made. Yes, wow. And that is, is that in the city of Norwalk, just like every other city in this country, we have particular zones, okay, for zoning, for uses. We are zoned in a light 
industrial zone. We're not zoned in a church zone. We're not zoned in a residential zone. This particular establishment was used for more than six years before we got there as a rock and roll club. I didn't see the outcry when there was a rock and roll club. Okay. I am on record from October 1990 complaining against what was called the Monkey Bar, which was followed by the Safari Club. It is as loud as well, my voice in terms like of design. It sounds like whoever is in there, Father, ain't making it anyway because these places just keep having to come in. The other thing, the other thing is that it's going to be by the time this airs, the place will be closed because right. they have no customers. Oh, that's not since, <laughs> since we've got a new juice bar, just so the record's clear, since we've got a new juice bar and let go of the alcohol, which was their whole motivation here. They figured they'd take our alcohol away and we'd go under. Profits are up, business is up, volume is up, and contrary to what they say, Volvos pull in there, BMWs, people Folks in suits, okay, Mr. 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 pull in there. On the average, there are 12 cars a night. Father, believe him or believe me. Hold on, Father, Mr. Lieberman. I want to get, I want to get us some reaction here. Yes. Yes, I would like to know, have any of the teenagers from the center from where the father is, have any of them become um, dancers? Yeah, Absolutely how about that? Not. I mean, isn't there an attraction here? You've taken these kids who have been in trouble, they live at this center, now all of a sudden next door, here comes all the rock music and the girls. And if we could and talk the about guys. those teenage girls who are being rehabbed well, for let's, abuse let's, problems, let's their the windows question. looking directly at this bar, and we do know, I've witnessed, I've heard cat calling, as it were, from the gentlemen customers to these, uh, to these teenage girls oh. who are Father, trying to get their on, lives together. On, we have on, had witness to them coming onto our property to try to, to, try to get into their residence. Yeah. It is yeah, a real is problem. True. And these are teenage girls. They meet their teenage, uh, in terms of age, we talk about it being 18. Those are teenage people. I wanna, yes, quickly. It's simply not true. Nothing like that's ever occurred. Right. Okay, and then we can pause and come back. You got it. Okay. Never have. We want to talk to an 11 year old girl who knows all about this and a nun who's across the street. <laughs> This is Sister Mary Ann, uh, the director of uh, religious education at St. Philip's Church. Uh, so what do you think about this? You've been listening to all this. I'm very concerned about the children who come to our religious education program. We have 250 children who come from the local public schools. 75 of them come from a school that is two blocks away from the Zebra Club. Mm -hmm. And some of them pass right by their door. And what do they say? Do you, hear, do you pick up any conversation that the kids indulge think, in or not well our program is over for this year but our kids are aware of what's going on as pat said they came out of church and they wanted to know right um what it was all well, about well let's find out let's they find out i think this is this is good. pat's young young daughter right and what's your name my name's eileen olson and i'm 11 years old right and what eileen so what do you uh, what what do you want to happen here well i want it to close down because i'm very confused about it why not that I only just learned this year, but I've learned other years in school that your body's private and you shouldn't be showing it to anybody. Okay, all right. Fine. Okay. Now, now, let me tell you, let me ask you. Joy, you okay, dear? I'm you over okay? 18 years okay. old. She's a little girl. Of course her body is private. My body, I'm over 18. I can do anything I please. In the appropriate place. In it's, it's inappropriate clothes. Uh, Nobody you can You have see. an 11-year-old child, don't That's you? Right, you I have do. an 11-year-old daughter? Yes, I do. And, and, and does she know what you do? No, she does not. <gasps> Why not? Somebody has to answer them and tell them. On the them. radio show last week that we did, a mother called up and said, I have a first-year-old daughter, and she asked me what's going on. And all of a sudden, I found myself having to, teach, having to tell my daughter adult entertainment words. And I felt insulted that all of a sudden my first grader had to be brought into this world. I didn't want to do that, she said as a mother. Why okay. are they asking that question? It's because they see you. We live across the street from you. Maury, there's, there's an issue. You want to talk about what's appropriate. I think Pat ought to question what she just did with her own daughter. Excuse me, form. but I have protested things. Don't, 
when we do about, things, don't start complaining excuse about me, us until you're parenting when we, properly when at we, home. Excuse me. Oh, I wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My family and I do everything together. We go to church together. We practice what we believe in together. My daughter came out of church because we were being on interviewed on television. My husband was being interviewed because of your client opening up. And my daughter wanted to know what was going on. So we had to tell her what was going on. And she got upset because she was taught not only in church, but in school through a drug program oh, right you that your yell. body is private. She had concerns, so we answered them. We have protested other things, and we have always done it as a family. Yes. I am open and honest with my children, and I resent the fact that you think that because my except, daughter is here Pat. asking her questions. Except, Pat, there are probably, a lot, of, there are probably Pat, a lot of people who have been watching this who understand that they saw that your daughter was upset. I and, understand and, and, that. And, and, and I question and I whether, she and question whether she, sh she should be exposed she to wants this. She is her. exposed when she walks out of church She's and she knows what's going on okay. in the building. You don't People. have to be sitting in the bar we to know what's there. going on. Yeah, we live there. there. We Can see I ask you it. A question? What are your she is about upset because or right I, now you brought her they here, and wait, wait, body listen, children listen don't. Woman. They know certain things, but this was almost like a rehearse. She no, got affected. She got scared, and that's why that. she said that. Excuse and me. that's what we do to her. Excuse child. me. I have two other children at home who wanted to know if they came. If she didn't want to come, she didn't have to come. That was left up to her to decide. Okay, yeah. This what is you, and she has a Absolutely right as a citizen of Norwalk to, to voice her opinion as everybody okay, else Pat. on this panel right. and everybody else as in long, the body. As long as you are, you're her parent, as long as you're comfortable with her coming here, getting emotional, it's fine. If, if you as the parent say, that's fine, that's what, that's what my daughter came here to do, I want, I want the country to see how emotional I kids can get. I want her to feel get. good about standing up for what she believes okay. in, and I think she that's just right there. Yeah. Yeah. She felt she real good. good. Yeah, she did. You're, that's you're all what she did because, because that's how much it affects her. her. You're all you're all making it sound like that you that you're like in the middle of giving a sermon and she comes in and strips in front of you. Nobody ever. They're doing said it in that. their own no, style. No, 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 but let me talk. You had your time to talk. Let me talk. They're doing it in their own establishment. They're not doing it out in front of the little in you know in front of the little kids. And I believe she made the best point was that that's a little girl. Okay, she's uh, way over 18. She can do what she wants. She's supporting a kid like that. Okay, and if she has a question about it, then maybe you should explain it to her. In fact, I said. In fact. In fact, our schedules do conflict. We have evening masses, we have rehearsals, we well, have choir practices, that. and let's they are that. they are dancing let's get well, at the exact same time. We hear so them. Much we going see on. them. Okay. There's so much Five going on. Five weeks ago, they made offers, and they've done nothing. They don't need our approval to paint the place right. or put up a Father, fence. You don't need our okay. We'll be back in a moment. We'll continue this after this message. I have a question. Although I agree that you have the right to do whatever you want, this is America and we have that right. Well, to a point, yes. To a point. Right. I also believe that if I lived in Norwalk, which is beautiful, I wouldn't want this in my area either. Why do you, not only your club, but other clubs, open up in an area that is residential and right across the street from a religious institution? Right. You'd be better off going in to an industrial area. That is an excellent point, well, okay? And it's a point which has been addressed repeatedly in the courts. The fact of the matter is, the city of Norwalk has known for years this is a bar and it's across the street from a church. They could have at any time zoned us out before we started. We only started in March. If they had passed a zoning ordinance before March in the last six years, they could have zoned out any other potential use they elected not to. Mitch, okay. what do you have to yeah. do Stand up to here. be zoned? Yeah. What, Both of what you. do you have to go through to be zoned? Your, your to, city to has to take action. If they, if they would, if they would focus their energies... What do you have to go through to If you and the city would focus your energies on a zoning change as opposed to all this publicity and hype... Yeah. You're not yeah. understanding yeah. my yeah. question. Yeah. My yeah. question okay, hold on. is, what do you yeah. have to go through? Yeah. What do you like have to go through to be zoned? Hold on. Yeah. 
I would like to, to look at this from a different approach. Uh, certainly in a, a, a club like this, there's an atmosphere of permissiveness. And in the age of AIDS, I don't feel that that's the appropriate message to send to young men as young as 18. Okay, yeah. And? I would like to address the issue of the image of Norwalk. In addition to being a businessman, uh, having a major retail operation on US-1, which is a major thoroughfare through Norwalk, and is utilized by tourists traveling through Norwalk, it presents an image that we are not willing to and, project. And this is not the image as, that you want. This right. is not the image we want. That's as well why James as James Madison the fact, and oh. Hamilton and Jefferson wrote the Federalist Papers and if I could in tell, anticipation. Can we, can we let me finish. They, they, I have not interrupted you all oh, day. No. Just let me finish. That's why they wrote the Federalist Papers, so we could be guided on how to apply our Constitution. And it may be offensive to you, sir, okay? But you have your right to come here and express yourself. The fact of the matter remains, we have a right to do business there. I would like to tell... Uh, uh, I would uh, like uh, to uh, tell... Uh, okay, wait a second. I would, wait, I would just, wait one second, Father. Yeah. The other issue that I wanted to address was the Catholic bashing. And I am president of the, one of the area synagogues, the Orthodox synagogue in our community. And we as a synagogue feel that it is a shame to have such an institution opposite a religious institution. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you keep talking you're, you're about... Pat's husband, right? That's correct. Okay. Yes. And the you daughter keep, here. And there's my daughter. Oh, and your daughter. You okay. keep bringing up the subject of James Madison. You're proud of your daughter, the, by the way. Yes, I'm very proud she did, of her. She's she very strong, it. and I, I am very happy with her. The fact that it's an emotional issue, I think, just points out how upset we as a family are concerned with this situation. But in any event, the Federalist Papers were written by James Madison. James Madison... We're talking about a strip club. Yes, I know that, but I want to point something out. He brought this up. He brought he brought up. up. I want him to know that James Madison was educated by a minister, that he was educated at Princeton, that when he wrote the Federalist Papers, that was a long time after he had run for the Continental Congress, he missed his... He was not elected to the Continental Continental Congress because at that time he refused to supply the voters with alcohol. That's the kind of a man James Madison was. And I can tell you that today, if James Madison was alive today, if James Madison was alive today, he would throw you out of Norwalk in two seconds flat. Okay. Um, All right. Laurie, Laurie, okay. if I could just tail uh, Mr. Amazing Steve Lander by saying two things quickly. Uh, our concern about appropriateness has been endorsed by major, major uh, people in the business world. Mr. Amazing, Gibson Corporation, Stu Leonard, etc. But also, there are key examples of entertainment people who have said to us in letter form and phone form, we are ashamed that they use the word entertainment and umbrella us together. And, the fact of the and I have is, that on paper from people like is, Jose Feliciano. All right, okay, okay. The fact of the matter is, is that... I think it's getting away from me. Jose no, Feliciano, no, James it's Madison. I think it's just... No, it's the not. Fact of the matter got your is, handle on it. The fact of the matter is, is that we're straying from the point you're right. The point of the matter is, the Catholic Church wouldn't like it if we say left tomorrow and let a homosexual group move you in You know there. something, Mr. Lieberman? This, if it was, if it was a synagogue, a mosque, a Presbyterian church, it doesn't matter. They would all have the same complaint. And you want to know You're something? Right. They're They'd entitled all have the same to, to have their viewpoint. And they we do. are. And I'm not sitting here trying to suppress their viewpoint or what they do. We're not. I'm simply saying to you, just because you have your viewpoint doesn't mean that there's no room for okay. ours. If, if somebody doesn't want to go into the Catholic Church because they don't, they don't disagree, they disagree with it, they don't have to go in there. If you don't, if you disagree with stripping, don't go in there. <laughs> You know, what's right, very right interesting, up, yep. folks, that the owner of this place, one of the managers, Mr. Seraldo, and this is like the third or fourth round that we've had on this, Mr. Seraldo, who is personally involved in this, has... You said Seraldo, right? Not Geraldo. Seraldo. Yeah. Seraldo. <laughs> he has given one sentence. He's, he's hired. He's his mouthpiece. We have no hired mouthpiece, and the difference is this. We are personally involved. He's not, a, he doesn't even live home. in Connecticut. This is, this is not... This well, is no, a wait, church. I, I, 
no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't take off on, don't take off on him. He's just representing his client. Now, come on. If the worst thing that happens in your community is the strip club, then I would be happy to live there. I mean, it's ridiculous. Excuse me, but if you're a property owner, if you're a property, if you're keep your children out if you don't want them. Excuse me, that's not always possible. I have a daughter. I have a daughter. I have a daughter who goes to. There's no reason. I have a to avoid it. Wait a minute. 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 Wait a can I say something about having other people's values shoved down your throat? Okay. My, I'm a third grade. Wait a minute. You're I'm showing your hey, 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 I, hey. You can't I have do a third, third, right, last year, my daughter, my youngest daughter was in third grade. And wait a minute. She came home from school one day and she said, Mom, what's a condom? And I said, why? She said, why should she know in third grade? Why should my daughter have to know about what's going on? Why? Why does a third grader have to know okay, what a condom is? We're going to we're going to break in a minute, but I want to get this. I'm just oh, curious. Oh, so she wait a second. We got to take a break. We better take a break. Don't you think we ought to now? I'm just curious, is it this particular club? Because you said there's three others in Norwalk. Or a so is it three. a total of three? Is it just this particular club because it's in your neighborhood, or do you have a problem with all of them in Norwalk? And the initially, second thing is, I have another question, if you can I'm hold sorry. on a second. I'm sorry. Um, I work with children, and I work with them from the ages of 10 to 17. And these are children who've been through the system and all these type of different things. But we believe in teaching them at a young age that there's all types of different things out there. There's, there's everything. <laughs> And if you educate the child, if you educate the child at a young age, then you're teaching that child that you can deal with people of different colors, you can deal with people of different religions, what they choose to do. Okay. If she chooses to do that, okay. then that's what she chooses to do. Now, now, how, now about to answer, answer the first part of the question. Initially it was because it was located directly across from our house of worship in all of its aspects. And once, once the uh, uh, petitioning for signatures, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, went forward, it became a bigger issue, which eventually will be in zoning. Your second point is, I agree with you, children should be raised in such a way that they can develop a very healthy, mature mind. But I think what's happening happening in very many situations is that we are making our four-year-olds think like they're 18. Our children are no longer children. Okay. We are making them adults so young. Right. Yes, yeah. I feel... I, <laughs> yeah. I feel you can't hide this from the kids, no matter where they go, who they talk to. You can't hide it. It's, on every, it's everywhere they go. They're going to either hear it from their kids, but can from, I say from something? their friends, why is it, why is it my daughter has to be faced with what she does for a living, but her daughter doesn't have to know what she does yes, for a exactly. living. Oh, that's right. Why do I have to have her job thing. shut down my she job? She won't even tell her own daughter. Is she but it's okay for my daughter to have to find out about it. So she's right. imposing it on that's us. Right. Right. And she's imposing it in my backyard. Now then. Right. You, you live in England, backyard. right? Yeah, that's my home. We built our home. We built our home. We built our home. Hey, 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 yeah, down too. a minute. In England, we're taught to have good manners. We're I also taught in England, we're also taught in England that you're supposed to be an advanced country. Now, I go nude swimming, okay? <laughs> I... <laughs> I think I catch your drift here. <laughs> I happen to be 63 this year, and I'm uh, a great-grandmother of two, okay? Right. Okay, you know, I got a bit heavy in the places I wouldn't like. I wish I had your body, okay? But I'll tell you something, mister, which is more important than anything else. I also am an Anglican, and I'm appalled when I go to church, because the people in England who go to church have already got one foot in the grave. So I think what she ought to do is move her club into your church <laughs> to stop the falling <laughs> We'll be back after this. We'll wrap this up after this. <laughs> He 
If you would like to join Maury in the studio audience, then call or write for free tickets. It's the Maury Povich Show, 221 West 26th Street, New York, New York, 10001. Or call 212-989-3622. Guests of the Maury Povich Show stay at the Lowe's New York Hotel, offering the finest in comfort, service, and value. Conveniently located in the heart of Manhattan. Well, after we have uh, heard from the mother country, thank you very much. Uh, Father Boccaccio and maybe Mr. Lieberman, wrap this up. First of all, I want to thank you very, very, very much Our for pleasure. inviting us here, and I applaud you for your kindness you. to us. My last comment is, we feel offended we respect what they want to do, we respect their decision, and we as a community are saying, can you please go elsewhere? That's all we're saying. You are in the, our face of our house. You are staring at our every single resident of that house, which is 4,000 people, by the way. Okay. Yes. What we're saying is patience, tolerance, and there's no reason to fear us. This is simply the exercise of the First Amendment in 1993. Um, there's absolutely no reason for the Church of God whether he be your God or someone else's God or all of our God, depending on how you look at it, to fear us. Right. We're people. Okay. I thank you all very much. I think we've had a healthy discussion. I think we've had some humor. I think we have kind of touched all the bases and, and, and actually all the chords uh, that have been in this controversy and in the heat of this controversy. I thank you so much. We'll be watching the newspapers, by the way, to see how this uh, ends up. Thank you out there for watching, everyone. And we'll tell you what happens, of course in Norwalk, Connecticut, in the Zebra Club. Thank you, and until next time. Monday, special guest Christy Brinkley helps us pick the next Ford supermodel of America. The road to stardom starts here, Monday. A promotional fee has been provided by... You want regular cheddar cheese with all that fat, cholesterol, and calories? No, no. I'm giving you Alpine Lace Fat Free because I care how you and you eat. Tetley Round Tea Bags, with more tea per bag and more taste for tea. But why is it round?